The market has shifted from a seller's market to a buyer's market. That means it's the perfect time for Elizabeth's Cheat Sheet, the five rules of homework for car buyers. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. After sharing a shortened cheat sheet version of these basic five rules of car shopping, viewers asked if we could elaborate on the five rules providing more details. With a market shift happening right now with car prices, we decided to comply. Here are Liz's five basic homework rules for car buyers, the roadmap to a successful car buying experience. Liz, it's mostly you today, so take it away. Smartest and toughest car shopper on the planet right here, folks. All right, thanks, Kevin, and thanks for joining us today. The five rules in a bit more detail. Rule number one, if you're going to need financing, in other words, you're going to have to take out a car loan, always talk to your own bank or credit union first. How you're going to pay for the car always has to be in the top of your list of your homework, or nothing good will ever happen after that. Every smart car buyer knows what they qualify for before they even set foot in a dealership. No exceptions, never. If you haven't done this and you're planning to finance, you're making a huge mistake and you will soon regret it. Liz is dead on the money on this one. If you need to finance and you haven't talked to your own bank or credit union, you're walking into the lion's den, the car dealership, and throwing yourself down on the floor <laughs> begging for mercy. And you're not going to get any. Absolutely none. Zip, zero, nada. Okay, rule number two. Call your current insurance agent and get an insurance quote on the vehicle that you have in mind. Very smart. So important to do this, folks. You may have done a good job of budgeting for a payment, but far too many people fail to take into consideration the cost of car insurance. In some cases, your premiums can be equal to or even greater than your car payment. And this is not the kind of surprise you want to receive later after you've already signed a car contract. The other thing you should discuss with your insurance agent is gap insurance and discuss the reasons that you might need it. I've often advised people to make smart car buying choices, stay yeah. within your financial means, Put enough cash down, that's 20% or more, and avoid the need for gap. For those of you who say you can't afford that much cash, you're telling yourself loud and clear that you can't afford the car the dealer's trying to sell you. But there are still people who might need gap. Our point is, on gap insurance, nobody should ever pay $1,000 or $1,500 for a gap policy the dealer is offering. Don't do that to yourself. Rule number three, do a fair market pricing analysis by going over the inventory of a minimum of four different dealers with the same vehicle that you're shopping for. This gives you a clue what the fair market price is and helps you recognize a good deal when you see one. Shopping at just one dealer because you see a car you like there is not very smart. Even more than four dealers, you guys, some people shortcut this because reviewing the inventory of multiple dealers takes time. True, and your time is worth something, which is totally why you need to take time to adequately shop multiple dealers. This move alone can save you thousands. If doing the research eats up a couple of hours and you save 3000 bucks doing it, when's the last time you made $1,500 an hour? Yeah, that's a great way to look at it. Bottom line, do the research and you'll know what fair market pricing is going into the deal. My book, Is That the Best You Can Do?, is not aimed at dealers, it's aimed at you. If you haven't done the best that you can do, like following all of Liz's rules here she's sharing here with you today, well, you're hosing yourself. You must do the legwork so you know what you're aiming at. Rule number four, if it's a used car you're shopping for, make arrangements with a repair shop nearby to do a vehicle inspection. Shame on you if you don't have a relationship with a good mechanic. You're just admitting that you neglect your vehicles regularly. Inspections are quite easy to set up via email with the dealer. The better dealers will go a step further and have a free rental agreement that you can just sign on the car and take it out to the shop. Even if it costs you a few bucks to do this, avoiding buying somebody's nightmare lemon vehicle can mean everything. If the dealer you're considering buying from says no to an inspection, you immediately say not interested in buying a vehicle from them. Totally right. No inspection, no purchase. Simple as that. Moving on to rule number five, and this is absolutely critical that you get this one right. Critical. After all the work is done, you're going to sit down and finance. When the time comes for you to discuss the financial details and sign out on your car, this is when you must be totally on top of your game. Totally. You won't be meeting your godfather in the finance office. <laughs> this will be the highest paid, most highly skilled salesman in the entire dealership. I would also add the most easily frustrated person in the dealership yeah. too, which is exactly what you want to do. It's like they feel entitled to rip you off. If you're even somewhat iffy on this, don't go alone. Bring a trusted friend with you. 
and make it a friend who has some cojones and will <laughs> actually look out for you and ask questions that make the finance officer a bit nervous. You definitely don't want somebody who keeps saying to you, well, it's up to you. Right, if you bring a friend, sit down with them beforehand, game plan your approach and watch or even rewatch our video on 11 fake fees with them and our video on how to defeat the finance officer. Your friend needs to be informed too. And like Kevin said, have some backbone. Bring have a some cojones. <laughs> yeah. Bring a calculator with you and verify every number or end result he or she shows you they're signing for. Say no to every product and fee that they try to add on. Plan to say no often. No. Just like that, with authority and certainty. No. I think they got it, Kevin. No. <laughs> now, now I'm just messing with you. Well, in all seriousness, saying no often does save you from a lot of garbage. And finally, dealers are stuck in a position where they can't afford to just let you go. Remember our buddy Steve Richards we've done reaction videos to? <laughs> He's already teaching his sales clients that since the foot traffic is slowing down, they need to get more aggressive with their sales approach. Ick. That means that they'll be increasing the heat on you. But it also means that you can easily defeat them by just saying no and standing firm. They need that sale. The market has shifted to a buyer's market and now they need you. Do your homework and stand your ground. Well, folks, Liz just gift wrapped a near perfect roadmap to a successful car purchase. So now you don't have any more excuses. And don't forget, if you buy a used car or you're driving a vehicle now that it's not brand new, consider getting X caps for it to start saving on your fuel expense. If you have questions about the X cap and how it can restore the original fuel economy of your vehicle or fleet of vehicles to like new condition, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text 701-441-3399. We have a huge customer database, so we know what results you should expect, how to conduct a proper test, and we promised you a straight up honest answer. And yes, Kevin does often answer phone calls or calls people back who try to reach us on the MPG line. At a minimum, you're gonna get a text from us. The entire reason we continue mentioning X caps here on this channel for saving on fuel expenses is because like everything Liz shared with you here today, the advice to get X caps is dead on the money for any smart minded buyer of a used car needing its fuel economy restored to like new condition. And many of you totally get that. And just like we never let a few whining dealers and complainers stop us from producing car buying videos, well, we aren't gonna let a few complainers stop us from showing you how to improve fuel economy of used cars. And now with some great improvements to the website, ordering X caps has never been easier. Visit the link you see appearing on the screen, mpgextreme.com forward slash homework guy, and hit that shop button Scroll down and you'll see 10 X caps or two five packs like this for $29.95 plus shipping, 30 X caps or six five packs for $59.95 plus shipping, or the best bargain per X cap is the third preferred customer option of 50 X caps or 10 five packs for $99.95 plus shipping. That's the one that I recommend. And if you elect to join our fast growing team of ISRs, I'll contact you directly and share my cell number with you so you'll have unlimited access and advice from me or Liz on all your future car deals. How do you like to have the two of us on a speed dial when you set foot in a dealership? If you don't have a friend to bring with you on your car deal, you can bring us. While the X cap can save you hundreds of dollars in fuel expenses, we can save you thousands on your next car deal and we are primed and ready to help you. That alone is worth its weight in gold. All right, if you're new to the channel here at The Homework Guy, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome all of you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back. And to all of our faithful followers and our growing team of ISRs out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, The Homework Gal. Once again, Elizabeth has saved the day, but now we, we gotta, gotta go. go.